Today starts off with a change of plans. A major storm is inbound toward the coast. So it looks like our big northern loop itinerary isn't going to work out this trip. Instead, we've decided to focus and spend the next two days exploring everything that Lassen has to offer. Lassen National Park and National Forest are supposed to be stunningly beautiful, lightly visited, and offer quite a bit of terrain to explore, on-road, off-road, and by foot. As soon as we leave the pavement, the road starts a steep, rocky climb into the mountains. to do about 180 miles off-road before arriving at our planned campsite at Butte Lake. Well, here's a chance to see how much lighter the KTM is when it counts. Let's see if it lives up to its honor. Is it easier? It's easier. Is it feather light? It is not. This was also a very unfortunate angle, right? Yeah, so absolutely. At that angle, I think the AT would have been a nightmare. the first waypoint of today's route, the Antelope Mountain Fire Lookout. From 7,700 feet, the panoramic views are pretty incredible, which was of course the reason the site was selected. This site was first used as a fire lookout starting in 1900, but the current tower with its unique hexagonal design was installed in 1975. And in 1978, this tower became the first to be powered by a solar array quite a piece of space age technology at the time. The trail leading down from the lookout is a fun challenge. Steep, with lots of loose rock. Ah, fuck. <laughs> God damn. I'm coming. I was all over the place. I actually feel like the AT here, I prefer. Just there right now. We trade bikes as part of the head-to-head -head comparison we're doing on this trip. I must say that at least for this kind of terrain, the AT's steady tractor-like manners are surprisingly preferable to the lighter KTM. Oh, yeah, dude, I prefer the AT on this 100%. Hey, you know what would be probably good to check right about now? That we're still on some sort of uh, correct route. Huh. at the woods, the trail delivers us to a fast, well-graded road that drops quickly to the valley below. Right it's nice to be able to give the throttle a good twist as we wind along the bottom of that geological depression we were just admiring from the lookout. Are you 
traction control would be going nuts right now. These are the remnants of Camp Harvey, a logging camp dating back to the 1940s. At its peak, the camp housed nearly 500 loggers. One of the main draws for the loggers was the commissary and cookhouse. So when the cookhouse crews walked off the job in a wage dispute in 1949, logging came to a standstill and the camp became a ghost town. Most of the buildings were removed by 1952. The water tower and the pump house were left in place for firefighting purposes. Now these remaining structures are slowly being reclaimed by nature. With nearly half the route still to cover, on the day quickly getting away from us, we move on. I see you. Yeah, maybe we can just go right around it. That looks pretty recent. That limb break. stops abruptly here as we cross into the Dixie Fire burn scar. The Dixie Fire of 2021 was the largest in California history. Over the course of four months, this fire devastated nearly one million acres, including 70% of Lassen. The fire burned so intensely that it sterilized the soil, leaving a semi-permanent scar on the landscape. The desolation we see all around us is only but the tiniest northernmost reach of the scar. We're sure to see much more of this devastation inside the park.
Ordnance Station, we make our way south toward our planned campsite in Butte Lake. Yes, 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 you're good. There's a spot up here you need to take a Stand by. I think we're off trail. Yep. So if you do see a little trail to the left, because no, you know, we're, we're veering a little bit further off. The GPS is having trouble maintaining a lock on us in the woods. And with sunlight about to run out, we become disoriented in this maze I don't of trails. See this trail on the GPS. You don't need this room over there on the left-hand side of the tree? That does not show up like the trail on the GPS that you plotted. Uh -huh. At least we have the full moon to help light the way. Could be slippery still, but I don't know, it looks reasonable. If we fall in here and get wet, I think we're gonna end up driving back to fucking Susanville. about this campground having space and then we were going down that trail and I was like dude I don't think a lot of people are going to come camping where we're going. It's been a great day of riding but we are exhausted. With no firewood there isn't much to do but to have a quick dinner and tuck in for the night.